and then go at this angle. Close your elbow a little, just like that. So you turn your hand like this. Now clamp a little bit so you can feel it. You see that? Hand on the mat. Use the friction of the mat, and then continue. Now, now not very really easy. Make sure before you get excited, don't get excited. It's about to slip through. Get this angle right here, John. This is about to slip through. So no, 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 no. Don't you. come in. Just angle this direction. Uh, keep okay. going. Keep going. Yes. And then when you do that, again, keep your just low level. You see that? Oh, yeah. I need that lowering of level. Don't come up too much. Stay down, stay down, mm -hmm. stay down. And then now, move the chin. Ah, no, 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 no. Did you feel it? For a second, you lost ground. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Stay down. Take your time. If you cannot move your chin and stay down at the same time, then do not do it. Okay, do not do it. And now... Later, Jeff. See you, Jeff. See ya. What's up, guys? Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. It's a beautiful Sunday here in Southern California. I've got Jamie Warm right here. He's going to be helping me out. I've got Eli. You're going to be checking? Yes, going to be helping us? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. All right, guys. Um, I was watching these big boys. These guys are, how much do you weigh? 220. 220? How much do you weigh? It was 224. Almost 224. Exactly. See, I'll weigh this guy. Okay, anyway. Guys, you guys got these big guys, and I was watching them in the mount. And, um, you know, there's sometimes a guy closes his elbows in the mount, and you want to get his arms, his elbows out. You want to expose his arm for an arm triangle or an arm bar or some type of attack. But he's closing his elbows tight, and it's really tough. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight on what I do. There was a video that just got put out a couple weeks ago with uh, John Danaher, and I loved his details of what, the way he does it. Um, I really like it, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the, my details. So here's what I wanna do. Go ahead and lay your back, head, head this way. Perfect. Okay guys, look, the way, in order to get someone's elbow out, I wanna get his elbow out, because if I get his elbow out, you know, I can take advantage. I can get to the arm triangle position. We could get into here, and we can finish a choke, you know? So I wanna do that. When a guy's elbows are close to his body, he's very strong. It's hard to move his elbows, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try and connect my chest to him, okay? And let me just show you. I get around the neck, I butt my, my biceps up against his neck right here. I'm gonna settle myself down low so I've got my hooks, okay? My grapevine hooks, and then now, once I'm here, I'm gonna also adjust my left shoulder. So watch my left shoulder. Even if he kind of clams up just a little and he's trying to hide his neck, okay? That can be tough with guys that have no necks. But watch my left shoulder. I'm gonna kind of dip it down and then in. So that's gonna help. When you can smash someone with your shoulder really well, it controls them. Simple as that, it controls them. I'll, uh, I'll start to give a little bit of a choke with it and a little bit of a turn of the jaw. Now. Over here is where I'm gonna start to attack. So, come over here, John, so look at this. See his arm. Now, right now his arm is kinda grabbing my body. I mean, it's also possible for me to just kick my knee up if he grabs me too much like this. So I'll, I'll be able to raise my knee and I'll get his elbow out that way. So what happens is a lot of times he keeps the elbow in like this, yes, exactly. Now watch, when you guys are here, look at his hand, right now his hand's on my chest. This is, none of this is planned right now. Jamie's just doing what he's doing, but I'm gonna show you what I do. I don't want his hand right there. This is gonna prevent me from doing what I wanna do. This is actually good for him. So real simple, I'm gonna add this in. I'm gonna grab his fingers, push his fingers in. Now, the way I do this, this is a very important principle. And, and again, referencing a little bit of John Danaher, because I want you guys to know I didn't, it's not like I went and watched his video and copied what he was doing. There, there, I, I do very similar to what he's doing, I agree with, like 99% of what he's doing, I just do it a little bit different. So when I'm here, when I hook under this elbow, I want to use my, my fingers and I want to crawl on the mat to walk this arm up. That's what I want. Now he had his nice ratcheting method, the way he does this, and then he takes up a little gap. He talked about um, you know turning of the hand, which is real important, same thing I do. But I want to talk about this. Watch this little trick. When, I, okay, first let me talk about this. I cannot go into his armpit. 
he'll clamp his left elbow and I won't be able to walk him, okay? You have to go outer and the way the shoulder joint is, you want, basically want to take a circular walk. So his, watch his elbow. It's like a, a protractor. I want to draw a line like this. So that's the direction I want to go. If I go out too much, he'll drop his elbow in. If I go in, up straight line too much, I won't be able to take him. So I have to hook near the out, this is with the most leverage. I go here, so he just clamp down a little, yeah? And then I walk, okay? As I walk like this, again, I love John, John's movement, but here's what I do. I wanna really nail this detail home. This is the meat of this video, guys. Watch this. When his elbows are here, he's strong. I can't move his elbow, strong. But you know what's funny? Everybody has limits, except for the most flexible guys. When you push your wrist into your own shoulder, it doesn't feel good, right? Feel that? Mm -hmm. It sucks. So what I'm gonna do is, I always talk about smash them. Drop your head level and your chest level. Watch the difference. When I try to walk him with space, even if I do it right, it becomes really, yeah, he's sneaking a little. I gotta get back underneath it. It becomes muscle. It's really tough. Now watch what I'm gonna do. All I do is I go down, down. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and resist. See how low I am? If you try to hide your hands inside here, watch my chest. Feel that on your wrist? Now watch, close your elbow. Big guy, come on, close. Let it go. Yeah, you have to let it go. And then this becomes so uncomfortable. Look at my chin right here. If he pushes my neck with his hand, see what I'm doing with my chin? I'm smashing your wrist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I get it up there. Now guys, once it's here, chin, hold it. Continue to try to move. See, it's very hard to move. Now I can adjust and I'll get into the arm triangle position, push that wrist off the head, and then I can squeeze and get the choke, okay? So what I wanna show you guys is, again, when you're here and the guy has his elbows in, like this, come get around the neck, press your chest into his chest. He, this pressure is on his wrist. Now I start, I just hook under the elbow, he tries to close the elbow, and then I go here. And it's very, because I lower- I'm gonna let go quick. You're gonna let you go. Know, you know you're yes. stuck. And, so I look at my right shoulder. Look at my right shoulder. Down. I'm I'm pinching my biceps. Look at that giant thing. I go here, and now it's squeezing your arm, and it just gets that out. Now that he goes on the outside, try to hook over my arm. I'll give you a little bit of ground. See, I was trying to hook over my arm. Now, guys, look. As I'm here, I'm this one. I'm smashing his face this way, and now try to clamp that. Yeah, you see how it's awesome. very weak. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. Once you're there, I continue. Now, a lot of times, guys, I will lock here as well on my forearm, keeping this strong position like this. If the guy bumps and moves around, I've got heavy hips. He's a big guy, but he cannot move, okay? Now, I move my chin, push, get that wrist off, make my lock. If you guys want to go here, you can go here. If you want to drop down, drop down, and then finish that baby. Come on over here, Eli. Let's give it a try. So, we got two big guys now. Okay, so this is what I was telling you when you were sparring today, when I said don't posture. Like you get this, and you start to underhook the guy's arm. Don't, don't, no, no, don't lock right here. We don't need that, okay? You're gonna walk, but if you just lift your posture and you try to walk, walk, he clamps, it becomes a muscle battle, yeah. and he's moving, okay? It's hard. Look, just drop your level. Dropping your level is the biggest detail I can give you besides all the other good stuff about walking for your, there's so many good details. But this is the one that I like to talk about, focus on. I lower my level, now walk it. Low profile, hook underneath. No, no, I don't, I don't want you to flare your elbow too much because he'll get his elbow in. Right, right. Go here and then push your hand and then go at this angle. Close your elbow a little. Just like that, so you turn your hand like this. Now clamp a little bit so you can feel. You see that? Hand on the mat. Use the friction of the mat. 
and then continue. Now, now, not really easy. Make sure before you get excited, don't get excited. It's about to slip through. Get this angle right here, John. This is about to slip through. So, no, 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 no. Okay, don't you. come in. Just angle this direction. Uh, keep okay. going. Keep going. Yes. And then when you do that, again, keep your just lower level. You see that? Oh, yeah. I need that lowering of level. Don't come up too much. Stay down, stay down, mm -hmm. stay down. And then now, move the chin. Ah, no, 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 no. Did you feel it? For a second, you lost ground. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Stay down. Take your time. If you cannot move your chin and stay down at the same time, then do not do it. Okay, do not do it. And now once you're here, you see him grabbing the tell, answering the telephone? Just put, put, yeah, push that wrist off as you lean over to the left a little bit. Yeah. I don't usually grab his hand the whole time. Just push it off push and, then, it. And, then, and then just come on back. Because our goal is to get deep on our biceps. We want a deep wrist grip, you know, like wrist in the crook of the elbow if we can. And now go ahead and flex and you sh don't grab his own head. You can do that. I prefer to grab my own. You may not even reach, but just make a nice fist and bring it that way. That'll help close your elbow. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good choke. And if the, with the big guys, I like the mount yeah, because if it yeah, fails, if it fails, I'm still in the mount. You know, if you go to the side, sometimes the guy does a lot of defenses right. and then you got to like take the back and do all that. You know, I like the mount, but um, nice. Let's go ahead and flip it over and you try it, Jamie. So, okay. So remember, the guy's got his elbows in. He's clapping. He's like, I'm not moving my elbows. You get now. No. What about the earlier stuff I talked about? Again, it's harder for big guys because you guys have again small, uh, not a lot of space with the necks because you guys got such big muscle. But remember, try to get butted up against his neck. Try to back up and get the shoulder. Well, yeah. See around the cheek. Try to back it all the way up as much as you can, and then now, yes, even that right there is huge. Even if we're still on the cheek right here, we're still good, we're still good. Now go ahead, we got good pressure. How's that chest, now drop. Feel that, Eli? Oh, yeah. Try to move. See how hard it is to move. Now curl the fingers. Yes, nice. Don't turn the fingers too much this way. Keep the thing, fingers pointed out. Walk outward, outward, using the wrist. Yeah, now make a circle, making a circle. Keep stretching, elbow, elbow should be off the mat. Elbow, here, but down. You see, it's like down, yes! Now walk, 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 walk. And now hold it, good. Push, and then now get, you got a good grip, your head's down, that's pretty good right there. Let's see that where the arm is right here. Let's see where the arm is. Like this, no, 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 we'll just go back. See this, this is still chokeable, but let's go ahead and maneuver his arm. Push it with your right hand. With your and push arm. it across you with your right hand, push yep. his arm, and then adjust, make his arm go, yeah. Just back up a step, a second, and get his arm like this, across his neck. I now see, lower so if I'm up here, you're saying, yeah, just yeah, like, like back. What happens is, like, answering the telephone, his arm, no, no, even besides that, his, his biceps are, like, on the side of his face like that. Mm -hmm. He can still be choked like this, by the way. It's just not optimal. It's not optimal. So, so how do I bring it back? Let, let, use your hand. And, and, and your head and try to maneuver it across his face like you would do on a triangle choke. Yes. Oh, you mean like this? No, no, like you just did. Okay. You just pushed his arm. Now, right here, we see a nice, you know, the arm is across the neck, your head, everything fits like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. And now you got a nice grip and then you can either dismount or you can nice knee on belly, you can drop down, beautiful. You can go there, you gotta finish this, okay? So again, guys, you guys can all experience this. Take your, take your a partner and, and just notice how if I smash his wrist, oh, yeah. you see that? It's very uh, uncomfortable. I'm sorry. That's right. Guys, like every once in a while, boxers, when you're, when you're doing kickboxing or boxing, you're throwing punches and your hand, you'll get hit or pushed and, and, and you'll get a uh, injury right here from your hand coming in this much. It's not good, okay? That's why when you block, you got to know how to, you know, hold your arms but um, what I'm trying to do again I don't want his arm in a nice 90 degree angle if like this if he closes his elbow yeah tight to your body I can't no at a 90 degree like there close your elbow you're way too keep going he's way too strong with all this keep fighting come on you're strong in there yeah close your elbow to your side yes what we what I'm trying to ask you guys to do is close your elbow like this do this exercise close it down slam it down yeah, like that. There we go. Now watch. Again, hug the neck, smash, mm -hmm. and now you become weak. Yeah. Close it. Close it. Uh, and I become all of a sudden this 
incredibly strong person. You still trying to move? Well, you just gave me that movement, okay. thank you. Now once my head goes here and I hold, mm -hmm. dropping my head, his arm, I'm gonna move him off to the side. If he tries to roll me right now, that's fine. I want him over there. And now I can adjust, get to my biceps, and now everything's tight. See, I can't reach my head. But when I close my elbow like this, instead of doing this, where my elbow flares, I want my elbow to come in. And I'll get a nice tight squeeze. So, at least that's how I do it, guys. So, ho hopefully you guys got something out of it. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. You, you crushed it, you can really feel it in your elbow. Yeah, it's in the elbow. Like, again, it's not something you always do. Sometimes the guy takes his arm out, tries to clamp you with the overhooks. But for the guy who's like this, and he's just trying to stay nice and tight, keeping his elbows in, smash his wrist into here. You guys could even do this to yourself. If you just hold your elbows in like this, take one of your hands, push it against your fist until you cause yourself some pain, and then notice your elbow can't close as much as when you're in this position, you can close your elbows in. So we wanna to try to weaken him in a different way. All the other details, really, really important as well. Super important. So. Hopefully you guys will get more elbows out in the mount. It'll get you more arm triangles. It'll get you more arm bars, more tri or leg triangles, whatever else you're looking for. Elbows out, you're gonna tap them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Teach Me Grappling. Share this video with your friends. Like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure the alarm bell's on. And thank you guys so much. Please click, click the link down below. I can never say that. Click the link down below. Patreon and PayPal, support this channel, contribute to it, either monthly or just one-time donation. And I will thank you very much, and I will always come back and bring you guys more next time. Thank you, I appreciate you. Take it easy. Ow! Let's go. Let's go eat. Where are we eating today? Where are we eating? I don't know, I'm going to eat. Where are we eating, John? <laughs>